All right, Amanda, we're talking about, of course, COVID-19, but uh, over at Claxton Hepburn, I mean, you've come a long way um, when it comes to, like, virtual visits and, 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 and everything. Just the last couple of months here, things have changed drastically for you guys over there, haven't they? Yes, it's like a whole new world, but I think that we've been brought into some of the conveniences that other places have had for a while. So virtual visits are just another aspect of that, and it's another way that you can get, you know, your routine visit, uh, some specialty visits, and if you don't feel comfortable coming into the hospital. And we're still doing all the screenings at all the offices in the hospital to make them as safe as possible so people can feel comfortable coming in, but it's just another way to do it, and it's part of our new normal as people are talking about it now when it comes to visiting your doctor i mean can you physically go to see them now yes the doctor's offices are open not all of our clinics are open yet we're ramping back up for that but if you have a need don't don't put it off if you need a routine screening if you need your mammogram if you just need a regular doctor's appointment and you'd rather see somebody in person we are taking precautions, so we're not going to have a full waiting room. Mm-hmm. Everybody gets screened as they come in. Our staff are in the proper protective equipment. So please do feel like you can come in and get the care that you need. Now, as far as COVID-19 goes, um, if you feel you need to get tested, um, that can still be done? Yes, our respiratory clinics and our testing sites mm-hmm. are still open. Uh, you still need to just call our nursing advice hotline at 315 713 6655. You'll still talk to a nursing professional about your symptoms. Um, they'll offer screening and advice, set you up for testing if you need it, uh, and send you to the respiratory clinic if you do need that as well. So that has not changed. Now, has the traffic on the phone line increased drastically? No, we are seeing a decrease in traffic, Okay, but everybody has, I think, maintained their social distancing. Mm-hmm. Uh, we haven't had a big spike in the county. As you've heard, we, we are starting our phase one for reopening. If folks keep up the good practices that they've developed, it's good that we're not getting a huge volume of phone calls on our clinic okay. line. It means that people are staying safe and they're not exposing themselves or their family members. Now, the phone line isn't just for COVID-19. This, this can be for anything, right? Yeah, if you have, it's really specific for uh, respiratory illness. But if you have another question too, they'll be able to get you where you need to go okay. uh, or refer you to your provider. So that it's a great line to call if you just have a question about your health. Mm-hmm. Okay, you're not cut off from your doctor. You still have ways to reach out. You can do the virtual visit if you want to. Um, which I'm sure you probably would recommend if you're able to with, you know, with your visit, if that would fit that criteria, yeah. probably do that in lieu of coming in if you don't need to. And you can also call and discuss with your provider whether or not you should come in for a visit. So you can make it, you can still have a personal experience and you can still talk to your provider and figure out what the next best step is for you. Okay. And that phone number again for the uh, respiratory line and then the, to talk to somebody when they're there is, is what? Uh, that number is 315-713-6655. And if you do want to make a virtual visit or make a visit at all uh, with a provider, you can call 315-713-6333. But and either number will help you get to where you need to go. And and don't ask Amanda what she had for breakfast yesterday because her head's about to explode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been a it's challenging a of- time, but I think it's good for our economy. It's good for our community. There's a lot of information banging around your head right now. You're trying to sort things out. Just forget the regular life thing. <laughs> yeah, normal life. Uh, but I think we're all in that boat, and it's a lot yeah. to take in. And so even if you just want to call that hotline to figure out, you know, what does this mean for me? Uh, or the Department of Health website's a great resource, too, because right now I think there's so much information coming through, and it's confusing. Uh, it's confusing for the people that are in the midst of it. But, you know, the phase program, all that's outlined online. So you can really see what that looks like through the Department of Health website. Um, and they're, they're wonderful people that have really handled the situation well. So they're, they're available to chat to. We're not out of it yet, but I think that with the, just, again, the great behaviors that people have picked up, we could potentially start seeing our return to our new normal. Sooner than later, let's hope. I hope so, too. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Amanda.